You and me, we need something on which to set our intentions, because without it, we let unimportant matters come between us and what we want to accomplish, what we were born to accomplish. That becomes its own idolatry, the worship of purposes that are not true to our sacred spirit. That explains why we're so imprisoned by our stories, the stories we tell ourselves that put us in the worst light. We find opportunities for criticism, boatloads of criticism, criticism that we heap on ourselves that if anybody else said such things to us, we'd never talk to them again. Rather than exile or excommunicate those horrible voices, we invite them in, we fix them a drink, we tell them, put your feet up, relax. And we listen to their yarns of what we did wrong and how we screwed up and how we're not worthy. Our brain is a master of deception. It gives us thoughts with the skill of a magician. It doesn't care if those thoughts are self-sabotaging and destructive, or if they're even true. The question is, what's it going to take to see the illusion, to peer behind the magician's curtain in your mind, so you can free yourself from those terrible stories, so you can become what one neuroscientist calls an architect of your experience. You can only do that when you give up the false rituals that break your true purpose on the false gods of bad habits that are really excuses to give up your power. I couldn't help myself. You can help yourself. You can create a new reality. There's a powerful idea that if I'm not for myself, who will be for me? But if I am only for myself, what am I? Me and you. We both have a special, individual, distinct role to play in the world. No one else on the planet can fulfill that. That's your purpose, your higher purpose. When you don't live for that purpose, when you give in to that idolatry of distraction, you shrink. You make your intentions and your life very small, and a gap opens up between your contracted, your shrunken self, and the bigness you have to give the world. Living in that gap, not only do you live as a disappointment to yourself, you disappoint the world, you hide your light, you literally make the world a darker place. It's time to frame your new view of yourself. Let that new view be filled with a light so bright it overwhelms whatever darkness inside you that lived before.